Mother desperate for help told to wait in line. She is more than 3,000, one of more than 3,000 Kansas eagerly waiting by for developmental disability aid. 41 Action News investigator Jessica McMaster found out why some are waiting nearly a decade for help. Shock, anger, and disappointment. All things Cynthia Prusik says she's been coping with while her family sits in crisis mode, waiting for her son to get help from the state. Oh, he's happy today. Yay. When he draws a picture of a happy face, I know he's feeling happy. And when he draws a picture of a sad face, then I know, you know, he's sad and he's going to get angry. For this mother of two, Cynthia Prusik spends most hours of the day caring for her eldest son, McKinnon, at their home in Kansas. I mean, camera. Diagnosed with autism at just two and a half years old, McKinnon, now 12, is unable to verbally communicate. So he expresses himself through art. The first tragedy came when my son was diagnosed with autism. From the very beginning, Prusik says she knew her son would need round-the-clock care. She immediately turned to the state for support, but was told McKinnon couldn't be signed up for services until he was five. The second tragedy came when the state of Kansas told me, you'll wait 10 years for help. I mean, it's it's unconscionable. It's it's they should be ashamed of themselves. Prusik's family is just one of more than 3,000 in the state told to get in line. A response that comes with a hefty burden. Financially, it has been a struggle for our family. Uh, I was working a full-time job when we found out about the autism, and I had to quit. The 41 Action News investigators found that in 2013, only 20 other states had more people waiting for Medicare's developmental disabilities waiver. Missouri was on that list too, but just this year the neighbor state got rid of its wait list through additional funding. Something Director of Community Development Disability Organization Tom Wood wants to see happen in Kansas. For 15 or 20 years, there's not been a huge priority placed on uh, bringing people off of the waiting list. Wood says the wait began in 1998 when Winfield State Hospital closed its doors. So you might wait one or two months and then you would be offered a slot on the waiver and it's steadily just gone up since then. The biggest problem, he says, a lack of resources. 41 Action News investigators pulled the numbers and found that over the past three years, funding has steadily increased each year. Secretary of Kansas Department of Aging and Disability Services Carrie Bruffett says focusing solely on the dollars isn't helping and admits the state can do better. That's why we're looking at waiver integration, thinking we can do a better job. The new waiver in Integration program allows the state to focus on how those funds are being distributed. A real approach is trying to provide services better so we can reduce costs and then use those savings to uh, reduce the waiting list. In the meantime, families in Kansas continue to wait. The Prusiks just received this notice from the state. It's finally their turn to step out of the line. While services have yet to begin, this mom is hoping that more good days are on the way for McKinnon. We want to see more happy faces. I want to see more happy faces. Soon someone will be able to come into the home and work with McKinnon one on one. Still, his mother tells us when it comes to autism, early intervention is key, saying she'll always wonder how far McKinnon could have come if help came sooner. I'm investigator Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News.